When we talk about checking out what the competition is doing in the world of UI UX design, we're essentially strategizing on how to get a clear picture of how similar products or services are hitting the mark with their users, especially through their design choices. This process means diving deep into the design elements, the overall user experience, how things function, and the user interface that the competition has put out there. Doing a really detailed analysis like this can shine a light on what's trending in the market, point out where there might be gaps that no one is filling, and show us areas where we could do better with our own products. By looking at what our competitors are doing right and where they might be missing the mark, we get a chance to refine our own designs, making our products not just more appealing, but also easier to use, which is super important in a space as packed as the digital world. Before we even start looking at what others are doing, it's key to figure out who exactly we're up against. This could be anyone from the direct competitors who are offering pretty much the same thing we are to indirect competitors who might be meeting the same needs, but in a totally different way. It's also super important to have clear goals for what we wanna get out of this analysis. These goals could be anything from wanting to improve certain elements of our UI, making the overall user experience smoother, to understanding how our competitors are using technology to meet user needs. Having a clear idea of who we're up against and what we wanna learn makes the whole process more focused and really more useful because it gives us concrete insights that we can use to make better design decisions. Steps to conduct a competitor analysis. Mapping out the competition. The first step is to list out who your main competitors are. This can involve a bit of detective work like market research, listening to what customers are saying, and keeping an eye on industry reports to see who's competing directly with your product. This list is your starting point for the whole analysis. Analyzing design elements. Next, take a close look at the design elements of your competitors' products. We're talking about everything from the layout and color schemes to the types of fonts and icons they're using. Notice how these elements add to the look and feel of the product and the overall user experience. Don't forget to check out how easy it is for users to navigate and whether the information is laid out in a way that makes sense. Understanding user experience. But it's not all about looks. Dive into the user experience of these products too. How easy is it for users to get things done? How smooth is the journey from point A to point B? And keep an eye out for any clever features or solutions that make the experience better for the user. Take a step back and see what the competition is doing well and where they could use some improvement. This should cover both the design and user experience sides of things. Understanding these points helps you see the bigger picture and spot opportunities to set your product apart. The last piece of the puzzle is to take everything you've learned and use it to make your own UI UX design even better. Bring in the best practices you've noticed, fill in any gaps in the user experience of your product, and think about how you can take what your competitors are doing well and do it even better. Always keep the user's needs front and center, thinking about how each change will make their experience smoother and more enjoyable. By carefully applying the insights you've gathered, you can elevate your UI UX design, not just meeting user expectations, but exceeding them, which could really set your product apart as a leader in your field.